Hello, I'm Dr. Pani Madhuri. I'm a consultant in reproductive medicine as well as obstetrics and gynecology at Matrutva Fertility Center, Kormangla, Bangalore. Yes, treatment of hydrosalpings is very important when you're looking in terms of future fertility. If the patient desires a fertility because of tubal factor through various techniques, usually the IVF or ICSI technique, the pregnancy rates in the presence of an hydrosalpings is found to be 50% lower in patients who have an hydrosalpings as compared to those who do not have a hydrosalpings. So, it's a very simple uh, concept that the tube is damaged and hence doctor I am going in for an IVF technique to get pregnant. Why do I have to treat these disease tubes? Let them be there in the body is the question that commonly patients ask me. But let me tell you that the presence of this toxic fluid in the tube is quite damaging to the embryos that go in for implantation. So the fluid contains a lot of cytotoxic substances, endotoxins which can directly be toxic to the embryo or because of the mechanical effect the fluid may flush out the embryos and may result in a failed implantation. So this is why we advise all the patients who are going in for IVF because of the tubal factor in presence of a hydrosalpings to first treat the hydrosalpings and then go ahead with the treatment of the fertility treatments because that's when your pregnancy rates are going to be doubled up.